There's no doubt that polygon modeling is here to stay, but when you have generators that can give you more detail than you can model yourself, in a fraction of time, you have to pay attention. Here are Blender generators that are simply better than modeling. You never know when you will need a building for your scene, but chances are 90% of the time you will need at least one for the background or foreground to add detail and story to your scene. Of course, you can model the building yourself, but because most of the time, buildings are background detail that are normally out of focus and out of mind, spending too much time making them is overkill and unnecessary. Since there are building generators like PBG2 that can generate detailed buildings in different styles in seconds. They can be for the background, but they are detailed enough for foreground shots as well. Most movie makers start their career by making sci-fi movies because most often, sci-fi movies require alien-like locations like planets and space that are much easier and cheaper to make in 3D than filming in a real-world location where you have to deal with people, weather and permits. Plus the audience too is more forgiving if your alien location looks less realistic and strange since they are foreign alien locations they have never visited. So having a set of tools to help you make these locations is great. One such tool is this nebula generator that instantly creates detailed nebulas that can render in EV and cycles. If it's not enough for you to use generators to make nebulas, you can learn how to make them from scratch by taking this course about making procedural nebulas by Creative Shrimp. It goes into all the technical nuances you need to become the go-to guy for perfect nebula creations. Speaking of foreign locations, if you need realistic landscapes, True Terrain has the detail and tools you need. This new release of True Terrain comes with a lot of new features to scale your detail to new levels. You can now work with layers, real-time erosion tools, geometry blending, and more. The layering system is also available for material generation to add detail like vegetation cover, rocks, snow, and more. Like I said in the beginning, modeling will never be replaced by generators completely, but in some cases, choosing to model things instead of using generators is either madness or genius. There is no in-between. For example, hand modeling neon signs for cities and shops. You may model one, but you are going to need hundreds of variations, and this is what generators have gotten so good at. Like this procedure signs generator that can pump out hundreds of signs from billboards, neon signs, digital screens, all unique and different by using a simple slider. Rivers and lakes can't be modeled, so your only viable option are generators. The physical open waters generator can generate seas, oceans, and more with waves in different conditions and detail you won't get anywhere else. Given the choice to model a castle or generate it using this procedure castle generator, I will choose generating it every time. You may think modeling it would give you more customization and detail, but with this generator, I can generate different variations, choose the one I want, and start adding the missing detail or customization by hand before you can even delete the default cube. I don't hate modeling, I just love efficiency. Another thing you can't model but can easily generate are explosions, and this is what this real-time procedure explosion generator does. The explosion is sterilized and great for any type of sterilized VFX shot for cartoons and anime. You don't have to choose between generators and modeling all the time. You can have both. This generator can be used to create procedure roofs so you can model the building by hand and let the generator save you time on the roof. Generators are simply the 3D industry's way of democratizing detail. Before generators, you needed a large team of artists to create this level of detail. And now, you just need one artist and they don't even have to be that good. As long as you have a good generator, you will get the detail that you need with this auto-building generator. Need a giant spaceship with detail everywhere and hundreds of variation? Only generators can provide that in a limited time. This spaceship generator not only generates the ship, but it gives you the procedure materials to go with it. The last thing I thought generators could be good at was good VFX. But I guess since any form of explosion or destruction is all just physics playing out in the real world, and physics can be expressed as math equations, which can be used to translate objects and graphics on a computer, it's not a surprise that there are generators really good at VFX like this sprite particle real-time VFX generator. I've seen artists who spent at least five years working on a project or short movie for it to get less than 10k views on YouTube. Maybe they did not make it for views and likes, but I'm sure they would have preferred to spend less time on the project, especially if they knew it may not do so well. 
and this is why generators like the human generator are great, creating a character that is well modeled, rigged, texted and ready to animate with some basic animations can take you a lot of time, nearly a month if not more, especially if you are making more than one character. A generator like this would cut that time from one month to about 24 hours so you can move on onto other things or other parts of your projects. Half of the things in this list are simply things you can't model, period. Like droplets. Yes, you can use a particle system, but that will not get you the animation and detail you get from using something like this procedure droplet generator. Fire is yet another thing that can't be modeled. You can use Blender's smoke and fire simulation to make fire, but be prepared to wait for baking time longer than a few hours if you want to make